Hey YouTube, uh, Derby Doug 1977 here. Well, it's Mr. Derby Doug now. Uh, some things happened to my account, my past account. Everybody knows me as Derby Doug 1977, but anyway, let me tell you what I've been up to. I've been holding out, and the reason why is, is this is my gas fire, okay? Same thing with HHO. I had a lot of fun with it, but I was totally disgusted with everybody just wanting to make money off of it, you know. Whether I mean, it just eBay was bombarded with with dry sales, this and that, and you know, made it look more like a joke than anything, you know. But I've been holding out for a real long time because I'm worried about that also with this, you know, uh, because I'm real proud of it because you know this is a, a design that's been around for years and years and years it's an invert design but I uh, you know I'm trying to do things to make it better um, not really a lot of things to make it better but you know it, it, it's still pretty simple and I'm just afraid that everybody's going to take and you know jump on this bandwagon of oh let's build wood gasifiers and then let's just sell as many of them as we can you know it's not about that and I don't want it to be about that. So that, that's a lot of why I've been holding out on my video. But anyway, let me talk to you a little bit about my gas fire here. I got a, and, and what I'm going to be putting it on. I got a square body style S10 out there, I, I, mid 80s. I've got a four cylinder and four speed. Um, like I said, I'm hoping to just remove the gas tank completely and, and run it on wood gas. But anyway, let me show you the hearth and stuff um, as you can see you know it's got a, it, its own shaker so hopefully it goes down the road you know shaking itself got 10 air nozzle air nozzles the big nozzle you see down there is where my ignition is um, let's see oh, right here um, that's my condenser well what, what happened moisture collect up in here and flow into that hole and come down this tube into the condenser anyway I'm, in, I'm still in the early stages of it um, if you look at Webster 6410's web page um, I tried it out on a riding mower pretty simple design nothing nothing crazy just and ran a riding mower with it so Webster 6410 check that out um, and now I've moved up to like I said I'm going to try and run a vehicle um, but anyway um, here's my ignition port, th th this here with a T-handle, and then, um, my big door down here, and <clears throat> I have a cast iron, um, just a big pot, I forget what they call that, um, but, you know, something you use on an open fire or something, but anyway, and then off the side here, I'm going to have my cyclone filter, and then a primary filter and, and everything but anyway I, this is the early stages and I'm just so excited about it I wanted everybody to see it um, like I said I'm just you know it, it, it's really turning out better than I planned so as you can see it'll shake itself going down the road um, let's see uh, what else um, you know and if anybody's looking at buying those little Jap um, plasma cutters, there's one right there. Let me tell you what, that thing works awesome. I, it has. I, I put that thing to the test, and trust me, I have really put it to the test. I've cut everything and and done and stayed at it for I don't know, two or three hours, non-stop, and, and it hasn't failed yet. So knock on. Uh, wood right here that it doesn't but anyway uh if you want to check out a video i'd already put up i i uh funneled it through webster 6410 shows my riding mower running on wood alone and like i said i got a square body style s10 sitting outside there that uh i'm going to make run on wood and this is the unit i'm going to put in it 55 gallon drum as the hopper and then that's what's left of a hundred pound, hundred pound um, propane tank. 
and you can see my condenser there <coughs> grabs all the moisture and I, I got a ball valve I'm gonna put on the bottom of it but uh, other than that YouTube <coughs> just keep an eye on my videos and you'll see <coughs> next video probably show my cyclone filter and then um, probably probably my primary filter and then so forth and so on so just keep an eye on my videos and um, I'll keep you updated but I'm trying to do this with <coughs> excuse me I'm trying to do this with everything you you know readily available you can go to a junkyard and find any of this crap in junkyards and things uh, <coughs> as HHO when I was doing my HHO you know I expressed that you know I'm on a limited budget really I am <laughs> and uh, you know I try and do it what I got laying around or I can get for next to nothing for a dollar a couple dollars or something you know so but uh, there and that uh, there it is and uh, you know everybody check it out and, and uh, if you got any questions you know ask me comments you know so forth and so on alright we'll talk at you later YouTube